continues. Well, there's an upcoming trenchless utility technician training at Louisiana Delta Community College. And to tell us more about it and how you can join that training is John Garrison from the college. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Now we hear trenchless utility technician and I think <laughs> what is that? Yes. So just tell us a little bit about what it is and why this skill set is needed. Okay. Well, I usually like to call it the utilities class because it's stuff to get out trenchless utility installation technician and um, but in our trenchless class, um, we, a trenchless means we're not digging up anything. We are uh, going underground, we're boring underground. Um, the class itself is, um, we use several pieces of ancillary equipment as well. Uh, we teach the students how to use those things as well as the boring equipment. So. Mm. Very interesting. Now, cool. this is the first time I've kind of hearing about stuff like this. So how did the need for this skill set surface? Uh, well, the need surfaced, I would guess, um, they've always used this technology, mm -hmm. usually on a much larger scale, like in larger uh, cities mm -hmm. for different type of applications, but the need for this application came from the pandemic. When the mm -hmm. pandemic hit, uh, we sent everyone home. Everyone had to needed to continue their education. You have students at home that couldn't get on the internet. Uh, right. People who couldn't go to stores because stores were closed, so they had to do online shopping. Uh, so we had to make do as best we could. So the the internet became as pretty much as popular as electricity mm -hmm. at that point. And the um, government has realized the importance of having the internet mm -hmm. and the, the ways to get to shopping and educating yourself and things online to our rural areas who some of, well some of our rural areas out toward the east uh, really have a large challenge ahead of them. Now the demand simply comes from we have large um, infrastructure bills and things that are coming in mm -hmm. and they are assisting in the training needs and the equipment that is needed to get this training completed because we have a lot of hands-on and there are literally hundreds or even thousands of miles here in the state of Louisiana that we need to get infrastructure in place so they can mm -hmm. have internet and so they can continue to educate themselves and continue to shop and continue on just like the rest of us in mm -hmm. larger, uh, more urban areas. Okay, I don't know the opportunity. Sense. And so if people are listening right now and they're thinking, okay, I have a couple questions about it. Can I work in it? I'm a male or a female. Can I work in this? And then what's the salary for it if somebody wanted to go into it? Well, I can tell you we've had both male and female. They so it's for anybody. Uh, for anybody. <laughs> um, uh, we typically like them to be over the age of 18. It, it's, it's useful. Uh, we don't have the challenges of school and things of that nature. Uh, they will, um, they come into the class. Um, uh, we go through uh, several things as far as the curriculum. We start out with some safety and then we move into some uh, line locating uh, damage prevention because there's a lot already underground mm -hmm. that you may or may not know that's there. So you have to locate it, you have to not damage it. <laughs> and then we move into um, uh, some of the skill sets they, they need th for the ancillary equipment that goes with the, uh, with the job and they will learn how to, uh, I, would be, I would say familiarize themselves, they're not going to know it all when mm -hmm. they finish, but they're going to be familiar with a lot of it. Now as far as the pay range, it, it's going to depend on really the, the person and how much experience they've been exposed to. Okay. Um, if you're younger and you've had uh, no experience really, your, your pay is going to probably start out around the 16 to $18 an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're older, you know, you, you got some experience behind you, you know some things, you've developed the work ethic, you, you have some of those al skills already established. Mm -hmm. Now, those may run into the $20 an hour range uh, for those type of students. Very nice. Now, for anyone interested, how long would their training be for that job? Uh, the training is typically five weeks. Of course, okay. we have holidays and things happen mm -hmm. with our weather and things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, and we work around those type things. Uh, we stay a little longer. This typically outside. Mm -hmm. 
we do some we do some theory on the inside and we do some on the outside yeah. uh, they have some hands on I've been out there in the cold and the heat <laughs> so and it's an outside job and 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 I think it's very rewarding uh, you go home at the end of the day satisfied with mm -hmm. the project uh, that we end up doing at the end of the course very nice. Very cool. Well, John, awesome. thank you so much for being with us. If people wanted to register, you can go to the website that we could put on the bottom of your screen right there, and they can register under the Workforce tab. Mm -hmm. so Correct. Thank you so much for being thank with you. us this morning. I appreciate you, Lab. Yes, of course. We'll be right back. Stay with us.